All right, coming up next, we get to this middleweight bout between Anderson the Spider Silva and Michael Bisping. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, he still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go forever. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbin and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s. That is the goal again tonight for one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silver. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Bisping is 37. Silva is 45. He is one inch taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England, Michael the Cow Bisbee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Bisping try to make it two in a row against the all-time It's very difficult to beat Anderson Silva once. It's almost impossible to beat him twice. Michael Bisping attempts that tonight. Can he do it? I don't know. Does he say and think he can do it? Yes, absolutely. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. He's 
throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Nice land there by Anderson Silva. Just a true mixed martial artist. Has so much honor and respect for the game. And somewhat remarkable. Still getting it done when matched up with the best middleweight tonight. Oh, single collar tie here. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big power shot there. Single collar tie now. Real quick leg kick. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That is. Oh, man, this dude is good. Both guys landing big shots. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big kick land. Big leg kick land. Beautiful strike. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Bisping's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Silva gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. The guy who turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Good punch lands. Just misses there with the left. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Liver kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. seconds left. Looked like a hook to the body there on the counter. Yes, good work by Silva. Lands flush. Oh, what a punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice combination of kicks there by Bisping. Silva's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. 
If they're not going to check him, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Bisping gets caught with that punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, but even if the feet aren't moving, you've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Watch the shot. Oh, tags him with that money left again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful leg kick throw. This thing gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And that left hook landed on the button. Another punch to the head. Bisping's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, effective strike there by Silva, lands flush. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and start to find his range here in the pocket. Back and forth we go. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got him. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big left hook there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big elbow. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Effective punch there by Bisbee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Bisping's got the tie clinch now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. A little single collar tie there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. You gotta check these low leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. All right, 
single collar tie now. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. A match maker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Bisping's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Visibly limping here. Whoa! Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Blocks the shot. Nice strike. Back and forth we go here! Oh, single collar tie here. Nice leg kick. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick lands. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Bispin. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and he's really a guy who has been a monster in the gym, finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. many body strikes he's making up for lost time here shot to the body connects and that bears watching that's gonna hurt this opponent so oh, nice misses with that punch man look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body Michael Bisping retreating here Swing and a miss by Bispick. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Shot is blocked there by Bisbee. Nice counter left hook. Single collar tie now. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Trying to establish that jab once again. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Nice punch there by this. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by this. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nice kick. Goes down again. <laughs> nice leg kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice strike landed there by Silva. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Merciful. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Anderson the Spider! Silva! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down on the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.